All right, I have a feeling things are about to get uh, complicated. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Buster Ice Shinobi. Today we have episode 66 and 67 of our One Piece watch through. The last one kind of dropping a bombshell at the end, revealing that this, this woman is Princess Vivi. Again, if you didn't catch the outro of the last one, I, I have the figure of her. It's a, it's a long story. But nonetheless, things are not as they seem with these two groups that Vivi and, and her group was like infiltrating the Baroque works. I'm not really sure. I hope I'm guessing we're going to get answers this episode or these next two episodes. Episodes, but there's only one way to find out. If you're new to the channel, drop us up, hit that big wood bell so we see future episodes. Let's get started with episode 66 of One Piece. I mean, if you guys have enough confidence, you can take on Zoro. I think by they means like Vivi and them? Yeah, VIP. And that's Vivi. Okay. So he's her bodyguard? Makes sense. Squad captain. Security. Okay, yeah. So they found out a little bit too much about Baroque works and the boss's secret. No time, baby. And the question is, is that a side that Luffy, Zora, and all of them are going to want to be on or not? Yeah, Luffy's just still asleep. Just chilling in the middle of the battlefield. Oh, no. Oh, I thought it was going to be precise. That was a whole explosion. Oh, no. Igaram. Oh, shoot. What is happening? That was so slick. I know she used that already once, but why did she cut her hair bit, her hair tie? He doesn't know? What? He's <laughs> just dragging Louie. <laughs> I love how they didn't question it either. Hey, this is a, this is a good bodyguard, bro. Giving his life for her. Oh, Kingdom of Alabasta. Okay, so she's like the princess of Alabasta? Bro. Do not tell me his power is that he flicks boogers, bro. Don't tell me that. Please. You've been a pair for a long time and you didn't know? He's ready to give his life too. Wait, this is so sad. He's gonna get rolled. Explosive boogers. Are you sure, show? Are you sure this is what you want to do? Wait, he's gonna bat it? Oh, no, he's just gonna take it to the face. Okay. Mr. Nine, we didn't know you long. That's a rough way to go, bud. <laughs> Please protect her. <laughs> oh, okay. They both have devil fruit powers. I feel like that's gonna be very common here in the Grand Line. Just randos with, with devil fruit powers. He's making a run for it. Stop laughing! Hey, that sounds pretty nice to me. Yeah, I'm very confused by all the like alignments here. I love how Nami's the one to step in and say yes. <laughs> Is that worth it? Okay, at least some of us have some kind of plan here. Zoro and Nami being responsible. They're negotiating. He has no time to negotiate. He's just going to say yes. That's kind of fair, yeah. The most he can say is he can try. I would say this is shameless, but yeah, they, they were trying to kill them a minute ago. But why is a princess involved in like a very dangerous mission like this? This doesn't seem correct. <laughs> She's just the middleman, bro. He's just laying there listening to the fight. Good morning, Luffy. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, wait, wait, he does. Yeah. Oh, I don't remember that. <laughs> a ruthless businesswoman. Oh, as a, you agreed to a different contract, brother. Oh my God. Dang, son. <laughs> oh my gosh. Go, Zoro! He's run! Ah, you tried your best, buddy. Yeah. Zoro will try his best. Again, if her dying would be the falling of the kingdom, why is she here? Run, Vivi! I don't think you're getting out without help. Is that Luffy? Oh my goodness. Why is he still so large? Yeah, Luffy has absolutely zero context of what's going on. Manzo's just about to go back to sleep. Uh-oh. There he is. Booger man. Run, Karu! Who is this? 
Oh, yeah, Miss Monday is on her side. Oh, no. Everybody's giving their life. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is so sad. Well, she's right. Sheesh. Let's go, Miss Monday! Okay, why is he going in melee range, though? Oh, shoot, never mind. Oh, my gosh. What a clothesline. And then a booger to top it off, bro. He's kind of cracked. <laughs> Miss Monday's dead. Bomb bomb fruit. Stop this laughing. Kilo Kilo. Does she like dive bomb? Oh, I see. And then she, yeah, she does die bomb. She just like insanely increases her weight. That is terrifying, low key. Okay, that's so overkill, dude. Are you serious? They are a very dynamic duo. Straight buried her. That's a really cool name for a kingdom though, Alabasta. Go Zoro! You better dodge, Vivi. Oh! Split the booger! <laughs> Wait, what? Was she about to, yeah, attack Zoro? Why else would he have stopped the booger, bro? <laughs> you got the lore, bud? I love how much confidence she has in Zoro to take them down. But she's not even gonna go. Oh. Okay. Your classic crime group. I have a feeling that, like, someone found out who's the identity. That seems like the main thing. Oh, we'll have a high ranking whenever the said ideal nation is founded. They're all fighting for it now. Mr. Zero. The stronger they are. I always supposed to know Mr. Zero is even strong if we don't even know what his face looks like. Sounds to me like he's a poser. I don't know. I owe someone money. I hate that so much. Oh, Luffy! <laughs> Why is he still large? Is it because he ate so much food? Can he actually not change? What is he doing? What? Oh my gosh. Luffy thinks he just murdered all these people? What? Oh my gosh. You can't be serious. Does he think Zoro just snapped and went on a killing spree? <laughs> Luffy, no! Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Are they even gonna get in the way or just let, let Luffy try to attack Zoro? Look at him! He's the one who went over! <laughs> oh, no. You're not even gonna listen to him? Oh, my gosh, bro. Luffy, please! You're not enemies! <laughs> He's enraged. He's like, yeah, I want to see how this plays out. And now Vivi's just unguarded. Uh, Nami, can you get in here, please? I'm gonna chalk it up to Luffy still being a little drunk and, like, also all the food. Nice! That's gonna hurt! Because typically he would have more faith in his friends like this and not just immediately think that Zoro is just evil. Get it over with. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's flattening the town. I'm gonna be honest, the whole Kilo Kilo for is kind of cool. Oh. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> he worked off the food. Bro, Mr. Vibes down. Like nothing too. Luffy, please stop. No, oh, she's up there. Please, someone. Dodge. Oh my gosh. I can't see how far down did she go? Oh, shoot. It's go time now. You guys are so dumb. I mean, Luffy more than Zoro, but... Oh, my gosh. This is so frustrating, bro. I, I mean, Zoro isn't actually fighting to kill. I think he just wants to put Luffy down. Two unstoppable forces, two immovable objects. At least he took down Mr. Five first. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Luffy, you lack critical information, brother. I mean, Nami could actually clear it up if she were here. She could just yell at Luffy and be like, no, listen to Zoro. But again, I think Luffy is still a little tipsy. 
I want to look at those wanted posters. I need to go back. Oh, no. She's right in the middle of it. Oh, you got to cut in. Oh, Mr. Five's back. I mean, you, you don't want them to just like fight to the death, bro. Why would you get in the middle of this? It's like a tornado. <laughs> oh, no. The fear of God. I need to go back real quick and see these posters because I, I think it showed our lungs like really early on. All right, who do we got? We have D Jot, Shupil, Galas, D R. Does that say Hitman? Okay. I feel like at least one of those, there's a good chance of them popping up in the future. Dude, Luffy can be so frustrating sometimes, man. I get that's who he is. But again, I thought the whole thing was that he just trusts his friends. Like he knew Nami was going through it, but didn't even want to know why. He just knew that he was fighting for her. Episode 67, I guess. Let's get it. <laughs> the, the pure rage in their eyes. <laughs> that's a cool shot. Ay, ay, ay. Getting in the way of a fair fight. <laughs> Vivi's face. <laughs> Jaw on the floor, bro. Yeah, these two Baroque Works agents are just like laid out in one hit each. Oh my. Guys, chill. This energy. They're like radiating. I love how Vivi isn't even using this opportunity to escape. She's so, so entranced by this. Thank goodness. My goodness. That's what they needed. <laughs> Again, not a confirmed billion. She's like, billion berries? They're still trying to punch each other? <laughs> it's like two kids, bro. You make the contract or you die. Oh my ideals, Mio, why? He tried. <laughs> Vivi's just so over it. Did that other guy actually die? Yeah, you probably got so much money. Oh no, this is gonna be a sad backstory, isn't it? Alabasta is like hella poor or something. Mm. Oh shoot. Don't have money to spare. Oh, Baroque works. Are they the ones that incited the civil war? Oh, so that's why. So she wanted to find the boss. Yeah. Oh, is he okay? Yeah. And you couldn't send anyone else? Or did she just take it into her own hands? I can respect that. <laughs> She's like, he told me too. They just want to... Oh, they don't want to overthrow him. Yeah, just take over. Okay. And just have whoever this boss... Mr. Zero rule over Alabasta. Yeah, all the money's being used on troops, weapons, etc. <laughs> Luffy's intrigued. Why? Who's listening? <laughs> Luffy's upset. Oh, shoot. Crocodile? Like the animal? <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. Oh, no. A warlord. Why is his name Crocodile? <laughs> Nami's like, we're doomed. Dude, that's sick. No wonder Luffy's hype. I mean, soon, I, how much out of his way will he go? Wait, so is he Mr. Zero? Oh my God. <laughs> Legit the inspector has their images now or detective. Yeah. Luffy's such a troll. <laughs> that's not even close to a billion. Whose are those? They're gonna be like on them. Poor Nami looks so depressed over there. Oh, a thousand. <laughs> oh, he's disguised as her? Oh, dude. This man is a ride or die. Oh my gosh. What a beast. Does anybody want to check on uh, Usopp and uh, Sanji? I really hope that crocodile is an actual crocodile. Oh, that's right. 80 million. How much is Luffy? 
I forgot Luffy is low key. 80 million when he did have one. He's a warlord. There's only seven of them. Dude, this man actually sacrificing himself. My goodness. Colonel pose? Is it like a log pose? Oh, shoot. Wow. That's pretty OP. Oh, I see. I see. I see. It's a set GPS. This is Loki so sad. Two or three islands away. Okay. He's a G, dude. You're not gonna make it out. Oh, he's talking to them? Oh, he's about to have like a thousand people after him. Oh, seven, Igarum. Oh, seven. I hope he makes it, man. That dude is fearless. It's all for the kingdom. There goes our hero. Watch him as he goes. I had a slight feeling that they would see the ship in the, in the like, background and just blow up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was sitcom level timing, bro. Igram, no. Bro. Crocodile's crew don't waste time. Oh, my gosh. Dog, that was a whole new. Like, actually. Oh. Poor Igram, bro. Get who's up in Sanji? Not compared to them. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so sad. It was just the timing of like how you could see it in the background while they were talking. I was like, something's gonna happen to it, man. They have a lot to be filled in on. The plot has thickened. God dang, my boy is moving. Kaoru, oh, that's her bird. Oh no. Oh no. They already know, dude. Oh no. The intercut card, it's a duck. It showed it as like a little baby, so she's had him for a while. Oh my gosh. You had me thinking they were gonna kill off this poor animal too. Run! A lot. Oh my gosh. Oh. I mean, they clearly have firepower too. You guys don't understand. Everybody's dead. <laughs> Smacking them. They'll figure it out. You gotta get out of there in the thick of the fog. I mean, they should have some kind of lead. The fact that they departed on a different part of the island. Oh no. It was what? <gasps> Is she on board? Did she fly? So which day of the week is she? All Sunday? Why is the all before it? <gasps> Bro! Oh my gosh. Oh, she's got to be like cracked. She wanted them to know her trail. Oh no. What? It's brave. It's honorable or ridiculous. I mean, it's dangerous. Oh my. I mean, she got on this ship without anyone knowing. I I don't know if this is going to work out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what are these powers? Is this like telekinesis? Yeah, devil fruit. I'm not shocked. She just pushed them away. I was about to say, I'm surprised he hasn't said anything about it yet. Wait, what? Oh, cool. <gasps> oh. Yeah, you set him off. <laughs> Who's this guy talking to? She's just like toying with them. Little Garden. Does that carry weight? Oh, Little Garden doesn't sound very dangerous, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, she's giving the hat back, nice. Oh, thank you, Miss All Sunday. Nothing at All Island? Why is she doing this? I don't understand. Does she just have respect for Luffy since she's heard so much about him? She's kind of cheeky, bro. They don't have many, many options. I mean, weigh the options first. 
<laughs> Luffy's like, I didn't think of that. The captain does. She has to gain a little bit of respect for Luffy for that. Hey, that's fair. Actually true, yeah. <laughs> no! Bunchy? What is this? Oh, the sea kings are like just the big creatures, right? Oh, she's got a turtle. That's sick. Gets on board, gives them directions, refuses to elaborate, leaves. Giga chat miss all Sunday. <laughs> she just wants to get back to her kingdom, bro. That was such a weird interaction. <laughs> oh. Oh, Bibi's so nice. <laughs> Little Garden is the next destination. From how she presented it, no. Oh, back to her. Is she going there too? Oh. Oh. Does Bigfoot reside in Little Garden? A very interesting interaction at the end of that episode. I thought Miss All Sunday would actually try to fight all of them. I mean, considering the fact that we don't know the whole motives, I guess the motives is like to overthrow Alabasta. But why let Princess Vivi get away if she's so pivotal in, in overturning that overthrow? Unless Miss All Sunday is so confident in her both herself and Crocodile that they can take care of them later. That's my only guess. Either that or, yeah, like I said, she's just cocky and it just thinks that they won't pose a threat at all or that I mean, she just wanted to check out all this that she's heard about about luffy but nonetheless a very interesting turn not not anywhere near how i expected all of this to go but it is kind of a uh, kind of confirmed that vivi i think is a is on the good side of things but who knows i mean maybe they're trying to overthrow alabasta for good reason and vivi actually isn't on the good side of things but i think we'll have to make it to alabasta to actually find out why things are being overthrown and why civil war actually broke out in the first place but that's been it for episode 66 and 67 I hope you did enjoy. As always, drop a sub if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, peace.